Hello everybody. Today it's 54 outside, which is sounds cold to most people, but it's nice and warm for us. It's a heat wave, haha. -ha. Tug's out here enjoying it. Tug. <laughs> and Don's been raking up the yard, which is good, and he still needs to put this away. But I'm sure you guys can hear all those birds in the trees. Way up there somewhere. And as soon as I can get a hold of pansy seeds, we need to redo the tires. Pansies were what grew the best. But actually Don said we'll make an herb garden out of this one and then put the pansies in the, in the two front ones. But there's hens and chicks in here already growing. Otherwise, we're just relaxing. But I mean, what else can you do? And Don still needs to put those two signs up in the shed. The deer sign and the trespassing sign. But he needs to rearrange the shed and he also needs to get the wood out of the back of the truck and up into the attic of the shed. That's stuff we should all be doing now. And I guess I'm gonna have to start this crap on fire here because Don hasn't done it. Get that burned up so the fire pit is looking good again instead of looking like hillbilly garbage. Yuck. And that's the broken bathroom door that Don replaced with the door off the second living room. That's what the snow did to it, warped it all up. So, yay. So Don had to come out and help me because I don't know how to start a fire. Well, okay, you gotta start paying attention to what I do when I build fires, that way you know what you're doing. Because I tried doing that. That one <coughs> stayed lit. Well, I got this one relit, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. When I told you, you gotta crinkle your paper. Don't just roll it up and expect it to do something. Don's way of doing things is, is to just dump everything in the yard and that's that and it stays there for years and years and years and forever. I'm the one, I am the one who is keeping on his ass to make sure he cleans up the yard because if it wasn't for me, this whole yard would still look like an out of control junkyard. Excuse me, pardon me. I've been spending uh, time working on the yard more than you have already this year. Yeah, well, last summer I had to make you clean everything up because everything was a great big disgusting nasty junkyard. Because it was all your crap. It wasn't my crap. Yeah, it was. None it was of that was crap. my crap laying all over crap. the yard. Tell the truth, it was all your crap. No. It was your 13 years of hoarded junk thrown all over the yard. No. Tell the truth. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell the truth. It was your hoarded junk. No. Yeah? It was your hoarded <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> so there you so go. if I wouldn't have come out here and forced him to take care of this, this would have stayed here forever. Like oh, yeah. this. But then I guess I should have forced you to come out and clean up all the dog shit from a, from a whole winter's worth. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> yeah, okay then. Oh look, flowers. That's a definite sign of spring. I guess we should start listening and see if we can hear the frogs at night. See if they're out yet. And here are more of those hens and chicks. They're all over here in front of the front porch. And another flower. The front porch that we never use because the floor is no good on the other side of it. 
We don't know if this peach tree will make it or not. Yeah, I don't know. We had it covered all winter, so when the frost risk is over, we'll uncover it and find out. Yeah, I have no idea for me to win that. Yeah, the other one didn't. I guess that's it. No more flowers. Yeah, that's it. Never planted very many of those. Yeah. Look how that door is made. Cardboard inside of it. What a cheap piece of shit. There. Now the fire is finally going. And that junk will be gone. There, that looks much better. It actually looks like a fire pit now and not a pile of crap. So we have a honeydew and I cut it open yesterday and ate some of it. And we saved all the seeds. So we're going to plant honeydew seeds. Hopefully we get a lot of them. And we saved all the seeds out of those poblano peppers from the um, HelloFresh box we got. So we'll get um, poblano peppers too. Right, White Storm? He's like, that's not the kind of crap I eat. Right? What do you need, Smokey? Good boy. <laughs> All the kitties. Gizzard and Kylo. As soon as they see the camera, they think it's time for their uh, lickable or delectable squeeze-up thing. For some reason, I mean, I guess it's my fault because I filmed them a few times while they were eating those and now they think, oh, camera means treats! Right, you silly kitties? Don's making us smoked sausage and french fries for dinner so that'll be good. I wanted something with french fries. Yeah? Yeah. Are you in the house for the night now? Uh, pretty much. Uh -uh. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's time to end the video again. Dinner was good. It's always good. Whatever Don f cooks, fixes, is good. And we're just going to watch more Trailer Park Boys. <clears throat> We've been working on re-watching that because that's always funny. So we're going to go ahead and say good night and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. I mean, good morning. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll see you next time.